today from Las Vegas, Nevada. And we are underway at Allegiant Stadium. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he probably wishes he would have sat on that one. Instead, he's only able to get this up beyond the 15-yard line. First and 10 and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. And they'll start on the ground with Hubbard. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The numbers on the ground last week for Hubbard. 22 carries, a trip to the end zone to go along with 118 yards. So, partner, you know, two games worth, he's leading the league in rushing, so he's now trending. Is that what they talk about nowadays? You talk about trending? That's what he's doing. He'd like to continue it here in this game. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. You look at this Raiders defense. They've had their trouble stopping the run, Charles. Currently 29th in the NFL in that department. Well, there wasn't anything wrong with them on that play, was there? Able to make a nice stop, held them to no gain. The key to their defense, though, is exactly what the defensive coordinator told you and I. They've got to be consistent. Carolina punt team out there led by Johnny Hecker. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Dances by him. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. First carry now for Alexander Madison. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. From the gun, Minshew to throw. Short throw caught by Bowers. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. A quick throw out to Adams on the perimeter. The numbers for Adams in last week's game. Six catches, 77 yards, and a touchdown. And I'd certainly expect them to use him quite a bit because he runs excellent routes, has good hands, and knows how to get open. Minshew sets to throw. Swings this out for Hunt. Two yards on the pickup there. And now it's third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Again, Minshew looking to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 32-yard line. Off play action, it's Minshew. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Here's second and ten. Now Minshew. Oh, the slant connects with Devontae Adams. And, oh, he takes a shot at the end of that play. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. They'll try to get it on the ground with Madison. Shrugs him off. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Out of the gun is Minshew. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Here's Minshew. Touchdown, Raiders! Brock Bowers with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Raiders are on the board first here this afternoon. 
Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. A 10-play drive that time. And it winds up in six points for the Raiders. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Young will set to throw. Flush to his right. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. A give up the middle, Hubbard. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. The Panthers at 2-0 here to begin the season. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victory, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. They'll try to throw down Young. Now Young loses the football, it's stripped. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Looking to throw. Young. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. So Young will head to the sideline, and on is Pinheiro for the Panther field goal. And this is up and good from Pinheiro. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Now Minshew on first and ten. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Myers. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Here's second and three. It'll be Minshew again. Rolling to his left. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And that's complete to Adams. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. From the 44 now, here's second and four. 
They'll go play action here with Minshew. And he'll get it down here to the 43. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try to throw for it with Minshew. He'll let this go for Adams. And this is caught. Touchdown. Devontae Adams. His second touchdown on the season. And the Raiders had six to their lead. Extra point by Carlson up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And Devontae Adams able to finish things with a touchdown reception. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Now here's a throw that's complete. That one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. Flushed out right. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. Well, that one hurts. I mean, it was third down, of course, but now the penalty, and we're back to first down. Yeah, it hurts momentum in a big way, and they built that up here in the early going. Now, that leaves the opposition with a first down. That's a mistake you don't want to make at this point in the game. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. You look at this Raiders defense. Right now in the National Football League, they're ranked number 18 against the Pats. And from analyzing them and talking with their defensive coordinator, we know they have a full playbook. So look for them to mix up coverages, pressure one play, fall back the next. They'll do a lot of different things trying to confuse the offense. And he's going to be touched down, but he's got the first down. Thielen does a nice job of moving the chains. That's something he did a lot of in 2023 as he was Bryce Young's most reliable weapon throughout his rookie campaign. He not only eclipsed 100 catches, but he also topped the millennium mark for the first time in five seasons. He's expecting an even bigger year in 2024. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Panther football to start quarter number two as they've got it with a second and ten. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field. And, get and the Raiders have got him. Max Crosby able to get in there yet again. That's already three sacks for him here in this first half of football. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Raider drive will start from deep in their own territory with a first and 10. Going to begin the drive here with Madison. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Second and 10. Looking to throw it, Minshew. And from the 15, they're able to work this up to the 20 for a pickup of a handful. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of it. And oh, he coughed it up, and it's picked up by the Panthers. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. 
Make it two weeks in a row now. He's kind of been Johnny on the spot. A fumble recovered last week, and now two in a row. Reminds me a little bit of an old teammate of mine. We used to call him the vulture because he would swoop in and clean up after the play was made. But, boy, we said it with a lot of affection because he made a lot of game-changing plays by getting to the football that had been knocked loose. What was your nickname, by the way? Um, can you go get me some water, guy, please? The rest of us are yeah, all right. <laughs> Too humble. Second down, another chance for Hubbard. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Eluding the pressure right. A flag comes in. It's incomplete. And I'm not sure he was still behind the line when he let that one go. He broke that line of scrimmage and then let it fly, and that's an automatic flag. Yeah, and you know, you don't just lose the five yards there, but you lose it down as well. So he obviously needs to have better awareness about what he's going to do. Either tuck it and go, or throw it to a target and get that pass away. 50 yards rushing for him down to this point. Playing as a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front, and then maybe a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. The kick by Pinheiro is good, and a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14-6 to now. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. And last time they coughed it up led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think the coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it down field. And Madison hit, and the ball pops free. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Now second and three. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. When in doubt, do it yourself as he keeps it for three and a first down. They're going to look to throw. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. He couldn't get rid of it. He winds up losing a yard. It's second down. On second down, Minshew. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 31-yard line. First carry now for Kareem Hunt. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. They'll run again with Hunt. That'll result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. They'll go Madison up the middle. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they've got it first and goal. Oh, 
Hunt. Fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Madison will score. Touchdown, Raiders. Very much, Charles, a statement drive right there. And the big guys up front love this type of a statement. They like being relied upon to move the line of scrimmage and create space for their runners. And they did exactly that on that drive. And how about the payoff? Running it again into the end zone. And that's the kind of drive that sends a message to the defense. And a big score they needed to add on to that slim lead they had. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Meanwhile, Young's throw complete to his receiver, Thielen. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now Young. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Merrig. And the Raiders are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. We're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Minshew throwing on third down. And he's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. And a nice job there defensively. They get him to the ground short of the first, right around the 42. Feeling like they're not quite in field goal range yet. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll try and run for it. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. They'll look to throw here. Now Minshew has it knocked out. Fumble. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. And that play just looked a little helter-skelter from the start. That's the risk as a quarterback. Once you take off with that football, you might fumble it, and he did. And he was going for the reward, which is gaining yardage, breaking down a defense. But you're right about the risk. Always lurking out there. Someone always trying to get to the football. Try to find a place to cover up and slide and protect what you've earned. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. Second down and six now. Yo. Short throw hauled in by Trimble. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it. And now third down and six to go. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. 
Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. So they convert on fourth, and now from just outside the 30, here's first and 10. Dancing to his left. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Young to throw it. And quickly to feel in here. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 16. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. It'll be Young again. Open man once again, it's Thielen. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. On second down, Young. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Bryce Young taking it in from seven yards away. And the Panthers get a late score here, the final minute of the first half. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he'll get in as they're back within a score now. The lead's down to seven. Needed a couple yards for the two-point try. They go to the ground game, and it works. And sometimes it's the exact right thing to do because a lot of teams play you for the pass, so you spread people out, decide to run the football. You often find good running lanes. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. And this time, they'll just keep this on the ground. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. So we have reached halftime here in Vegas with the Raiders on top. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, thanks. And welcome in, everybody, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Time for a look around the NFL here in week three of the new year. We'll get started over at the Superdome in New Orleans, where you see the final score there. Jalen Hurts, four touchdown passes in the victory. From there, we're off to check out another game. And they've got the lead in that ball game over the visiting 49ers. Matthew Stafford, three touchdown passes. Lastly, we head to the Gulf Coast and check on the Bucks at home in Tampa. And they were winners in that one as they take care of the visiting Denver Broncos. Baker Mayfield, four touchdown passes in the victory. It was a strong first half for the well-traveled quarterback, Gardner Minshew. He came out of the gate smoking hot with two first quarter touchdown passes to help steer his guys towards this halftime lead. Okay, coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Raiders with the lead already, and they will get the football here as the second half is now underway. And we will not have a run back here as the second half starts with a touchback. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. 40 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up the first down, keep the sticks moving. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Hunt will try going up the middle. 
pushing forward for three up to the 48. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take him in short, steady bursts. Out to his left. Now Minshew has it knocked out. Fumble. And it's picked up by the Panthers. So that is not the way you want to begin the half when you're only up by one score, a turnover right away. And my guess that in the locker room, that's what the defensive coordinator of the other side was saying. We've got to find a way to get the football back for our offense. And they were able to do it. He's got it to the 43 here. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Now a throw here. Hold in. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he has a get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short gain. And he is going to have a Panthers first down. It won't be by much. He needed three, and he got three, barely. But the mark shows first down. And they'll go again here with Hubbard. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Flush to his right. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll try and run for this with Hubbard. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. The drive stays alive. A third down gain of eight. First and ten, Young complete. It's Johnson. So just three yards on the completion there. And that'll bring up second down. To throw, Young. That one completes it again. Seven yards there and a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Here is Young. He'll find Thielen working the middle. So five yards here, five on the play. And now we've got a third and three. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, the defender was right on him. On third down, they go with Brooks. And he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. Jonathan Brooks, his third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Panthers are an extra point away from evening this one up. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And we are tied at 21. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. And he'll wisely just take a knee here. This ball will come out to the 30-yard line. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. Minshew's throw there complete to Myers. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Running from the shotgun with Madison. They got two of the three they needed there. It leaves them with third and just a yard. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. 
On third down, they run with Madison. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. I like his focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. Throwing on first down is Minshew. He'll get the tight end Bowers involved there. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Handoff up the middle, Hunt. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. 48 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. They'll drop to throw. He'll get just a yard on the scramble in second down. Now back to throw. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. Derek Brown. Able to collapse the pocket, get to him, and drop him for a loss of a yard. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. That's complete into the hands of Myers. And he'll get this to the 40, but that's still going to be a few yards short of the first down. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. And with it, they'll take the lead at 24-21. So a response there to the touchdown of the opening drive of this third quarter as they're able to reclaim the lead. And I think you'll take that because obviously you'd like to be able to match them touchdown for touchdown, but the first order of business was to get the lead back, and they've done that. Now you want to give a good pep talk to your defense to take it from there. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. From the 34-yard line, here's second and five. Young. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Seven yards there and a first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. To the 43, second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Young now. Short throw hauled in by Trimble. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. From the shotgun, it's Young. Open man is Mingo, complete. First target, first catch, and a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. On first and ten, it's Brooks. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Robert Spillane able to bring him down. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. Here's Young from the shotgun. That one into the hands of Thielen. Complete. 
They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. It'll be first and goal when we come back. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. What a touchdown, Panthers. Deontay Johnson from eight yards out. And the Panthers have taken a fourth quarter lead. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that will make this a four-point game. So that one a long 11-play drive. And in the end, it was Deontay Johnson's touchdown catch to cap the drive. And no thought of bringing this one out. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll begin the drive at the 30. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit. A lot of people making plays behind him in the field. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. The offense on third down, they're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and eight. Minshew sets to throw. Over the middle complete. That's Myers. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Here's A.J. Cole now. As he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. 43-yard punt, but they get nine back on the return. And it will be the Panthers' ball first and ten. Adam Thielen, he gets set to go again with the rest of this offense. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. They'll stay on the ground with Brooks. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Young going to give to Brooks. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. 82 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of utter pressure now and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. Max Crosby. Who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Over the middle, open is Thomas. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Throwing Young to the end zone, but it's incomplete. 
When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. Here we go, a big play in a tight game late. They're going on fourth and goal. They'll try it now with Brooks, and he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Jonathan Brooks with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Panthers are closing in on a third straight victory to start the campaign. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And the returner down to a knee, and this will come out to the 30-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Minshew, first and 10. Swings this out for Hunt. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. Now Minshew. Open man is Myers. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. the gun Minshew to throw slant and now the ball's out fumble near midfield and it's picked up by the Panthers and they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49 yard line we have seen this before and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time catch the ball you know there's going to be some traffic somewhere they've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield and he'll get it down here to the 43. Christian Wilkins there defensively for the stop. On second down, Brooks. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. Once again, it's Brooks. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Robert Spillane, the linebacker there on the tackle. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And now third down and six to go. Now Young. That's pulled in by Brooks. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because, to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. A uh, quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Coaches talk about it all the time. Players talk about it as well. Excellent job staying disciplined in coverage and making that stop. Inside the red zone, every st touchdown. Adam Thielen, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Panthers are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And he'll wisely just take a knee here. This ball will come out to the 30-yard line. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. Now Minshew has it knocked out, fumble, and it's picked up by the Panthers inside the 20. And they will finally put it into the return, but not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10-yard line. 
And I don't know that that fumble is going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here in the fourth, it doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about, we're going to address this come practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far. Doesn't matter at this point, but being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help him improve. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Now here's Young. Touchdown, Panthers. Ian Thomas, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Panthers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And they open the lead up now to 25. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them in plus territory. Excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And no thought of bringing this one out. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll begin the drive at the 30. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Here's Minshew. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Josie Jewell, the linebacker, getting the sack. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And the Panthers are going to get it back in excellent field position. They'll run straight ahead with Brooks. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? And the Panthers are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offense. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal, and then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is I'm not sure who made the play call, but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard-charging run. Give it right back to him and let him cap things off. And the returner down to a knee, and this will come out to the 30-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on... Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Josie Jewell. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. And he'll wisely just take a knee here, and this ball will come out to the 30-yard line.
After the pick six, they go right back to the air. That one is caught by Hunt. And some room to maneuver. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Looking to throw it. Minshew. Another completion here to Hunt. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be second down. Out of the gun is Minshew. He'll leave it for Hunt. Complete. And he'll get it down on the plate of the 37. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Now Minshew on first and ten. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Panthers. Look at this. Middle of the field. A breakaway. Through the middle of the field. And that might just submit it. A return for a late touchdown. This has just really been a solid second half from them, CD, as they add another touchdown to the lead, and they start to pull away in what was once a close ball game. Yeah, they actually put the Jets on in this one, didn't they? Put a little cherry on top with that touchdown. Now he's got to play out this final minute, and they'll get a chance to celebrate a very hard-earned victory. And no thought of bringing this one out. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll begin the drive at the 30. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. Uh, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is end the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here, give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to practice in the next couple of days. Minshew's throw taken in by Adams. And Devontae's going to have a Raiders first down as he'll get this up to the 39. They'll set up to throw. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him. And after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. So for Carolina, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Raiders, the early struggles continue as they'll sink to 0-3. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Las Vegas.
Today, from Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina, in the air and the NFL season is in full swing and we're underway here in week four. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. Quickly to the air is Burrow. Man open, that's Jamar Chase complete. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. The numbers a week ago for Chase. Six catches, 102 yards. Now it's Burrow. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that he's off to a hot start here in his first month, and those are the kind of performances you expect to see going forward. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. An early test for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That's good for a first down, his second catch of the opening drive. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. On first down, they look downfield, and it's complete. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. And Burrow going to throw again. He's going to have the hook up to Gage. To give him two yards there on the completion, and it'll be second down. Well, this defense for the Panthers, they played really well in the win over the Raiders a week ago. And that's not the half of it. They forced seven turnovers in that game, and I know we always talk about turnovers coming in bunches once you force the first one, but seven? That seems almost impossible, but we watched it happen. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Now Burrow. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And the Bengals are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. Open man is Higgins, and he's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. A great play there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Bengals will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And they'll start on the ground with Hubbard. And not a whole lot there, maybe a yard to the 27. A check on the numbers last week for Hubbard. 12 carries, 75 yards. How about the first month of the season for him? He leads the league in rushing, so he knows confidence is at an all-time high, which means his offensive line loves it, too. They'll get more opportunities to run block for him. Young to throw it. Got his man. It's Jonathan Mingo. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. 22 yards on the catch and run. A first down. Ready, ready. 
Young now from the 50. He's got his tight end. It's Tommy Tremble. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. Ten more there and another first down. Now Young. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. And that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. Now a second and six. Young will set to throw. He went backwards seven yards, setting up a tough third down. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. To throw, Young. Flushed out right. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And the Bengals are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. They have to be thrilled with that first drive. They got him the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice, in meetings, talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. Now it's Burrow. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. Call it a gain of six on the play. And now one yard to go on third down. They'll try and run for this with Moss. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They go play action with Burrow. He'll swing this out to Moss. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big play that time on the catch and run. And it'll give him a fresh set of downs. Burrow on play action. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's going to get forward for a couple before he is banged down hard at the end. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Second down and eight. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Throw left side, complete to Moss. And oh, a little spin cycle. Room to run now. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Burrow looking to pass. Out of his hands quickly to Higgins. And a good gain here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. And I think he just wanted to get the ball to one of his playmakers to see if they could make something happen. But he ends up throwing into a crowded area. And after the catch, he isn't able to do much with it. Looking middle, and that's complete. And the Bengals are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. They go power. This is Johnson, the fullback. And he is in. Touchdown, Bengals. A great effort there. His second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Bengals lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. Extra point by McPherson up and good. And it's now 14-0. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. 
And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? Out of the gun, it's Young. Short throw hauled in by Trimble. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Give him 15 there. The Panthers have a first down. Struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Daxton Hill picks it off. And the Bengals are going to take over here up near the 40. For a team who came in here on a healthy winning streak, we're seeing some uncharacteristically bad play thus far. And that streak is definitely in jeopardy if this offense keeps giving the ball away and can't mount a few drives of their own. They will throw on first down with Burrow. A hit as he throws there incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Here's Burrow. And he comes back with one complete. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Burrow will throw. could not. Caleb on chase on the former first rounder in there to get the sack. On second down, here's a run with Moss. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They lose two on that last play, so things get even tougher. Third and long coming up. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be fourth down. Now on fourth down, it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. And he punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. So just a three-yard return following a punt of 45. And the Panthers will have a first and 10 from deep in their own territory. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Now a second and two. Straight ahead with Hubbard. And he's able to get up here to the 26. And a gain of five, good enough for the first down. The play fake, now Young. Let's it fly for Thielen. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. He'll look to throw. Here's Johnson with a reception. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Looking to throw. Young eluding the pressure right. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Now a second and ten. Throwing, Young. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. Trey Hendrickson showing off his pass rush repertoire that time. Now this offense continues to shoot themselves in the foot. And here, another sack. All game long, we've seen missed assignments, which have led to turnovers, sacks. This group has not played well at all here in the first half. 
Escaping the pressure right. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. It was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Here's Young. And Thomas has it. The result only four yards there on the play. And it's second down. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end. Take some easier completions. The interception last drive there. He hits the reliable target. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10-yard line. They need two. Here's third down. Young to throw it. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And the Panthers are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. Hubbard is not going to get a whole lot, maybe a yard down to the three. Only a yard on the pickup there, second and goal. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. Hubbard again, pushing for the end zone, but he's not going to get there. They stop him just shy of the goal line. They follow up the first down one-yard run with a minimal gain of two. This Bengal defense, they pass the first two tests. Now it's third and goal. Brooks is into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play of our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Charlie Jones now from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked out officially at the 21. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. And they'll come up second and seven. He'll look to throw. A right, rifles one and that's going to be intercepted. And this one will be brought back to the 22. Well, this was a 14-0 game not too long ago. Things were looking pretty good. And then you give up the touchdown on the last drive. Now the interception. So that's a lesson in trying to stay vigilant, isn't it? You have to stay on top of things. Can't relax too much because, as you noted, things change. Now they've got to go out there and get a spark going again and try and slow down this comeback. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Back to throw here. Flush to his right. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Young now. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. And Young's throw there incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Young with it, third and goal. Forced out to his left. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. So Young will head to the sideline, and on is Pinheiro for the Panther field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? 
don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach turned his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. The Bengals drive about to get going. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll run on first down with Moss. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Now back to throw. Now a short one to Gesicki. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. They'll drop the throw. Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. Picked off by Josie Jewell. And the Panthers will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 43. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second down and eight. Right back to Hubbard. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. A give up the middle, Hubbard. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. The Panthers hit 3-0 here in the month of September. And they've got to be pleased with the start of this season, obviously. Yeah, and you're talking about three good quality wins. It's got people in the locker room excited. Not overly so, but that quiet confidence is starting to build. They're starting to believe that this could be their year if they stay on track. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Young on third down. A short throw hauled in by Trimble. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Young. Now a leaping catch. He's got it. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Now Young. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free and it's second down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Now here's Young. Open man is Mingo, complete. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll bring up a fourth down. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. And I don't think he got there. He did not. They stop him a yard shy. 
they'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. And they'll send the slot in motion left. They'll fake the jet sweep and go play action with Burrow. And he's going to have the hook up to Gage. And he takes a pretty good lick there as he'll wind up getting about three. Second and seven. Now it's Burrow. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Burrow. Now a short one to Gesicki. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. On fourth down, out is the punter Cameron Johnston to boot it away. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Let's take it inside his own 40. 44-yard punt, return of nine. And the Panthers will take over now, first and ten. The possession of the football goes over to Carolina. And they've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. And it's a real luxury when you have a guy who can turn a short throw into a solid gain at any moment. Once he caught that ball, he ID'd where the open grass was and got there in a hurry to pick up a new set of downs for his offense. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Young is intercepted for the third time this game. And the Bengals are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. On first down, they'll start out with Moss. And a nice pickup as this one gets him to the 10-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now Burrow. That's taken in by Higgins. And he'll go out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. First and ten, Joe Burrow. Quick slant caught by Chase. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Moss on the give up the middle. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you guys in a bit. But first, time for a trip around the league on this final weekend of September. We'll start over at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa. And it's the Eagles who are out in front. Devontae Smith, a touchdown reception. From there, we head up to MetLife Stadium to check on the Jets. And they've got the lead over the visiting Denver Broncos. Aaron Rodgers with two touchdown passes. Finally, we're off to Atlanta to check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And they were winners in that ball game over the visiting New Orleans Saints. Kirk Cousins, excellent in the victory as his guys moved to 3-1 and one after four games.
All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. The Panthers going to get the football first, trailing here as well as we resume play in this second half. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? Well, paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks, I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers, a little bit more to the perimeter perhaps. But above all, play your game. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll try and run for this with Hubbard. And this won't be enough. Stopped a yard short after a gain of three. Fourth down. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the uh, field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. Here we go on fourth down. And this is going to be a Panthers first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. Backed up where they were on this side of the field. That was a gutsy call. A gutsy call that never should have happened. Not so much them going for it. That's their decision. But where's the defensive front? Where's the leverage? Where's the low man wins? Where's getting into the offensive backfield and spilling the play? How did they permit them to pick up a first down in that situation? Second down, another chance for Hubbard. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield. And down to the 43. 55 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Now Young. Buying time to his left. Open man left side. It's the tight end Trimble. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. That one good for 37 yards. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the 5. Young to throw it. And he's got it. And he gets halfway there from the 6 to the 3 on a gain of 3. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Young will set to throw. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked by Logan Wilson. And the Bengals are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. Throwing now. Burrow on first down. Open man is chase complete. And he takes this just about a yard shy of the 20. So a much rosier picture now after that last play. Here's first and 10 at the 19-yard line. Now it's Burrow. Quick hitter here, it's complete. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Just need a yard here, second and one. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. Now a short one to Gesicki. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. They'll look to throw again. That's complete. Once again, it's Gesicki. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 down at the 31. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Now a short one to Gesicki. 
And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Again, it's Burrow. And that incompletion breaks a string of five straight connections. And it's second down. Burrow looking to pass. And a quick throw here. That's complete. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Now a run with a fullback, Johnson. And he bowls his way into the end zone for a Bengal touchdown. It's the fullback. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Bengals go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that makes it a 21-10 game. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. And he's going to be touched down, but he's got the first down. Now a first down throw for Young. Adam Thielen, back-to-back -back catches. And that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to bring up second down. Up the middle with Brooks here. And across midfield he goes and into Bengal territory. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. A third down gain of three yards and that'll be enough. Well, it wasn't a goal line situation, but how about the goal line formation on third and short? They went in and went heavy. No surprise on who was going to get the football. How about the power exhibited there? Yeah, that was just put a hat on a hat, drive forward. Nice job to pick it up. So the completion good for six yards, and that will bring up second down. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. Just a gain of a couple there. And that's going to bring up third and two. Well, that was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. They'll try and run here with Brooks. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. I'll bet they thought they had picked that one up because it was a third and two call, and they got awfully close. Now we're at fourth and inches. I wonder if they think they're feeling lucky here and maybe want to go pick it up. They'll try it now with Brooks. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. On first and 10, it's Brooks. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. That throw by Young incomplete. 
Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. Young. Touchdown, Carolina! Adam Thielen, 32 yards. And the Panthers have cut it back within a score. They're going to try and run. And he'll get in for the two points. And that'll cut the deficit down to just a field goal. I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and ten. Burrow's throw caught by Higgins. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. They'll go up the middle here with Moss. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Burrow will throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. Oh, and one of the linebackers has got it. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line, that's where they'll take over. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Young going to give to Brooks. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run. Run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Once again, it's Brooks. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. On second down, Brooks. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back now in Charlotte. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there. But that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. They'll try to throw now. Young. And it's caught. Touchdown. Ian Thomas. A five-yard touchdown. And the Panthers have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that will make this a four-point game. So the drive there took six plays. And Carolina scores to cap it off. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Bengals drive about to get going. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag. Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. Whenever I see a team turn it. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee in fact down? So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. On second down, here's Burrow. He'll drop this underneath the Moss. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. 
Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Here's Burrow. And his throw here is incomplete. T. Higgins was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. On the give, this is Moss. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Got a man open. It's Chase. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he's on to punt for Cincinnati. Taken in at the 11. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. A great return there of 22 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Trey Hendrickson, the one who gets him on the ground. They work now on second and nine. They'll stay on the ground with Brooks. He'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. And this is the worry because sometimes you can get a little too predictable in spots like this. You know you're going to run the ball, but they know you're going to run the ball as well. And now you look up and you're staring at an important third down. Flushed out right. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. A handoff running left, Brooks. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. And he'll take this from 147-yard line to the other. A gain of six. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. They'll run straight ahead with Brooks. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. This has been a tremendous drive to this point. And this is all you want, playing with a lead in the fourth quarter. If you can keep the ball on the ground, keep the sticks moving, you're going to be in good shape to finish this one off. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. Miles Sanders, first carry of the game. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's a handoff to Brooks. And he's down into the red zone at the 16 after a gain of 16, first and 10. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. On the handoff, this is Brooks. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Jonathan Brooks. 
with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Panthers are going to be moving to 4-0 and as they extend their lead. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Oh, the return is Jones from the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. Shaq Thompson on the tackle that time. From the 24 now, here's second down at seven. He'll look to throw. And he's got his tight end, it's Mike Gesicki. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. On the handoff, it's Moss. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. Now a short one to Gesicki. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. A big play here. Crowd on their feet. Third and four. They'll look to throw here. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 20-yard line. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. Throwing, Burrow. That's into the hands of Akers complete. They'll get to him just inside the 15-yard line. And even after that fancy footwork we saw, a good job defensively to recover. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. So certainly some importance to this one now. After the touchdown, they could get this down to a field goal with a two-point conversion. Burrow. This is caught. They got it. And that could be an important two points. It gets them back within a field goal. So the deficit now three after the huge conversion, but they need to get the football back. So this is where special teams really comes into play because getting the ball back, it starts with this next kickoff. How do they get downfield? Either jar it loose or get the ball back themselves. That's going to be key for them. We got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he did not want to go down there as he carries tacklers for a solid gain of nine. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts. As they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll run with Brooks. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. Here comes Brooks. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Two yards still to go. Third down now. They run out of the gun with Brooks here. And boy, he is very close to a first down. But from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, 
I like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of a ball. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. It'll go as a gain of 12, and that should just about wrap this one up. Young's going to take a knee here, and that should just about do it. That was an excellent come-from-behind victory, Charles, especially there in the fourth quarter. Both offense and defense were clicking. They're going to feel good about this one. Boy, are they ever, because the deficit they faced certainly wasn't small. But they obviously did not give up on that one. And in the end, how about that come-from-behind victory? They'll cherish this one for a while. So for the Panthers, hey, they finish a perfect month of September as they move to 4-0 on the new campaign. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Chicago Bears. Meanwhile, for the Bengals, they'll drop down to 1-3, and, and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Panthers are winners here as we say so long from Charlotte.